Hi, this is Angela with Angela's Student Nurse Toolbox. Let's go and do some more and more interpretation in drug calculation practice. So here's your patient, Phoebe Gump, in room 250 and no known allergies. So the first medicine she has is hydrochlorothiazide, 6.25 milligrams PO daily. What we have available is hydrochlorothiazide and it is a 12.5 milligram capsule, okay? So when we go and do our calculations, the doctor wants 6.25. What we have available is 12.5 milligrams times one cap, and that would give you a half a capsule. But when you go ahead and try to go get this, this is how your medicine comes, okay? It's this liquid filled. It's not one where you can pour it out. There's no way you can give a half a capsule of this medicine. So we need a different dosage form. So that's something we would have to call the pharmacy for to see if they can send us a different dosage form like a tablet. That would be easy. A scored tablet would be best. Okay, let's look at our next one. Here's we got another drug order. This is Joey Dore, room 254, no known allergies. We have Carvedel, 6.25 milligrams, and Prelone Syrup PO daily. Do you see what the error is so far with this, met, this MAR? If you look, we don't have a dosage for the Prelone Syrup. There's a dosage on the bottle, but the doctor did not order a dosage. So what we need to do as nursing students and nurses, we need to call to get that order clarified. I like to show you what, how to learn and really analyze your MARS because errors can be made by the doctor, by the person transcribing the orders or entering the orders, pharmacy, and the nurses. And if we give these medicines, we are ultimately responsible because we're like the last line of defense to make sure the patient gets the correct dose. So I hope this helps. If you like, subscribe to my channel.